Hi everyone, welcome to the Spotlight on the Bensonville Park District. My name is Tom Draper and I'm the Superintendent of Marketing here. With me, I have Mike Hayes, he's the Superintendent of Recreation, and I have Mr. T Todd Linder, the, uh, the Aquatics and Fitness Manager. How are you guys doing today? Great, great. Good. Good. So I feel like as a Park District, all everything that we do is encompassed about getting outside, getting active, um, and, and that's really our goal. So we've done a tremendous amount of work in our fitness center over the last six months, and we just kind of want to outline all these these changes today. Sure. So let's, let's talk about them. Yeah, Tom, as you alluded to, I mean, we've spent a, a lot of uh, time and effort improving our fitness center. Um, probably the most noticeable change is we painted the whole entire facility. We used to have a mural on the wall, and, and it was great, but you know, we figured we need to be a little more modern, so we decided to paint over that and add a little more color and energy to the fitness yeah, when center. I, when I walked in for the first time, I was like, wow, I need some sunglasses. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's bright, I mean, and especially with the new LED lights in there, it, it is bright, but it, it brings a sense of energy and excitement to the yeah. center. It, it looks real nice in there. It, it's, it's, it's a wow when you nice. walk in at yeah, first. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, I mean, a couple of some other new improvements we have done to the fitness center is uh, we have a towel service now. Oh, nice. I know, I know for most gyms when you, when you go there and you want the towel service, they charge you extra. Is that, is that the case here too? It is 100% complimentary. Nice. Um, it, we have a company actually that will come in, deliver the towels, make sure the towels are clean, sterilized properly, and, and it's just a nice added benefit for our members. That is not nice not to have to bring your own, too. Correct. It is very because, nice. Because then you leave it in your gym bag, and then it gets all sweaty, and the next day you want a towel and you can't find it. I have that problem every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple other good improvements throughout the facility um, uh, include some uh, equipment. So we nice. have actually replaced flooring where our dumbbells are and, and heavyweight equipment. It was, it was coming up, and it saw wear and, wear and tear after years upon years of use. So we did actually put down some new flooring there. Um, and then we have some new equipment coming. That's probably going to be nice. the biggest highlight nice, this nice. month. Is it going to be as bright as that, that wall? It will have hints of the color on it, nice. definitely. I, I like the way that sounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, hints of the color on it. And the new equipment is actually going to focus on all of our weight equipment. Um, so we currently have a 14 series set of series of weight equipment out there for machines and those are all being removed and replaced with the matrix brand equipment the key is it's going to be the same style machinery so for those that uh, require it for medical needs or uh, enjoy having that specific machine it's coming it's just a new brand nice. um, and it's coming with a warranty our warranty was up on the other equipment and nice. it was hard to maintain nice so so people should be very familiar with how to use it absolutely it's just going to be a lot nicer it's going to be a lot nicer maybe a little new layout but it's going to continue with the excitement um, in the center and it also allows us to expand in the future for future growth with this nice. equipment i like the way that sounds and i mean with with all that new heavy weightlifting equipment, our, our cardio equipment's actually in pretty solid shape, right? It's yeah. not that old. Yeah, our cardio equipment is, um, it's, not, it's not relatively old, but cardio equipment goes by hours, actually. Um, we currently only have about 10,000 hours on our pieces of cardio equipment, which is nothing. Um, and we get a service twice a year, so we're always maintaining it, making sure the belts are oiled and uh, replaced and all the bells and whistles move on it. Sounds good. What, what else do we have? Uh, you know, some, some other stuff we got going on in the fitness center is um, we have some new membership team coming. Nice. Um, and actually, I'll, I'll defer to Todd here to talk a little bit about his team and what he's trying to accomplish with it. So, yeah, um, I mean, our fitness team, uh, there's quite a few of them now. Um, they're going to be there to be, I think our thought process behind it was that on-demand personal trainer. So you can come in if you need help with a machine, they're going to be there. If you're not sure what kind of workout is going to help you, you know, tone certain muscles or get the results you want, they'll be there um, for assistance. As well as uh, any membership questions you have, they'll be able to handle that and really be there just to support and be that friendly face in our fitness. Yes. And, is, and all these things, that's free to our, to our members? That will be free to the members. It's kind of one of those courtesies to make it more friendly and enjoyable for people that come I, over. And I think just to add on what Todd said, one of the key things with the membership reps is if you're new to a gym, sometimes you're intimidated. Of course. You don't know how to use equipment. You don't know where the locker rooms are. Not, you, you might not know questions of speci specific programs. And these individuals are going to be specialized in making you feel comfortable and welcome to the center and ho hopefully making your onboarding experience better. And I heard that there uh, might be some videos on, on uh, 
com website. Yeah, and, and it, actually, and we have a new website launching sometime in August, so we're hoping to have all those videos linked of how to use this machinery onto the website and maybe even have a tablet into the gym. So you can t hit it and it'll show you what workouts you can do, make sure you're doing it right, um, and it maybe some basic questions and answers on there for you. Nice, nice. And all, and all those videos, anybody can access them? Anyone can access them. Nice. Solid. So, so what if like I, I'm someone who kind of needs to work out with a group of people. I need somebody to kind of hold me accountable. I, need, I can't just you know, commit myself to going to the gym every single morning. What, do, what does Wichita Fitness offer? Well, we, we do have some uh, personal trainers that uh, probably is your best recommendation for that. Uh, Todd here is a new team of personal trainers that he just onboarded, and um, they're, they're exciting. Yeah, they're all good. Um, they have quite an array of experience. Um, one of the ones we also brought in has a huge background in um, nutrition as well as uh, physical therapy. So on nice. top of just lifting and working out the muscles, really kind of working with members to stretch properly and know their body's limits and kind of work with them. Well, that's, that's, that's awesome that they have experience with nutrition too, because I know that, I mean, a majority of people who work out, like nutrition is a huge, you know, a huge factor of that and nutrition coaching is, is huge. Yeah, you can only work out so much uh, without, depending on what you put in your body. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I, I think the key with our personal training is we're trying to make it a customizable experience for the member. Um, everyone has different goals to achieve, and it, we want our personal trainers to understand our members' goals and hold them accountable. So if someone wants to work on their, their core, they'll work on their core. If one, someone wants to work on their uh, biceps, we'll work on their biceps. So uh, it can be customized packages for that individual, essentially. Cool, I like the way that sounds. So, fitness classes. Fitness classes. So, coming this fall, we have six new classes that oh, we're wow. going to be offering. Kind of changing it up, um, listen to what our members want, um, and trying to offer classes for that. Um, one of the big things we were working on was offering different yoga classes or stretch classes um, after those high intensity classes that we're offering. So, one of the new classes is um, Core to Force Live. Um, it's like a Muay Thai kickboxing kind of mashup of a class wow. um, that is... Get some aggression out. Yeah. <laughs> Kick, <laughs> punch, and sweat. I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's really exciting. Um, hearing a lot of positive buzz about it. Oh, wow. Um, and then we jump right at, back into, after those classes, offering stuff like our stretch and tone class that allows you to stretch out those muscles, work out those muscles. Um, so you don't cramp up during those classes and kind of ease into it um, towards the end of the night. Nice. So, you, so, so we have extreme kickboxing. <laughs> we have uh, yoga. Anything else? Um, yoga. So there was, that was I was talking about a stretch and tone class. Um, it loosens your muscles, improves circulation, kind of helps you feel better. Um, and like I said, that's going to come after all of these high intensity workouts. So it lets you relax, kind of ease out of your workout, as opposed nice. to just abruptly stopping after of course, of course. <laughs> a 45 minute class. Of course. I think one thing also with all of our fitness classes we're really trying to strive to do from a district standpoint is evaluate attendance. Um, we want to make sure that we're getting good attendance in our classes and we're offering new classes and exciting classes. So every brochure we're going to constantly start evaluating all of our classes and yeah, we might eliminate some classes, but we're going to always bring something back in its place. Yeah, I like the idea of kind of experimenting with, uh, with different classes from the, from the standpoint of I feel like you get tired of doing the same thing over and over and over Correct. again. So if you, know, you keep your ex workouts exciting, vary them up a little bit by trying these different classes. I like the way that sounds. With the exception of the kickboxing, we might have to keep that. I mean, that's, that's like an aggression out all the yeah, time. Yeah, I have, I have some aggression. <laughs> I work across the hall from, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so how about, how about that pool that's across the street from us? Do we, do, we offer, do we offer fitness classes over there? So we have two fitness classes right now. Um, aqua Fusion, which is uh, your typical aqua aerobics type class. It is held in our four-foot area, so um, helps the joints, helps the movement. Um, the other positive is the pool is heated, so that kind Whoa. of helps out <laughs> a nice. lot more with them. 
um, as well as our Aqua Zumba class, which is that high intensity movement in the water, um, set to some pretty cool music. Nice. Uh, so, and, and these classes are earlier in the morning, right? They are. They are 8 a.m. Um, on Thursdays and Saturdays. Nice. Uh, they go for about 45 minutes to an hour, um, and it's six dollars for residents, eight dollars for the non-residents to attend. Nice, nice. I think with the pool heated, like in the morning, that'll make that much nicer, right? Oh yeah, the steam comes off the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So all this stuff sounds fantastic. We got um, a state-of-the-art facility. We have all these classes. Sign me up. Tell me about memberships. Great. Yeah, no, definitely. We have a plethora of membership options. Uh, we really try to give everyone an option of where they wanted to be because not everyone wants to take classes. So we do have our standard fitness membership package uh, that's just exclusive only for the fitness center itself to use the machinery. Um, our walking track is free for anyone to come and walk on it. Uh, but the fitness membership will give you access to the gym and fitness center. You can pay monthly or yearly. But if you pay yearly, you get a 15% discount off of that package. Nice. So I, I do encourage everyone to pay it up front and save some bucks in their pocket. Nice. Uh, our other membership is, is the fitness center, but also with classes. So you can upgrade your membership and have exclusive use to most of our classes for free. Does that include the extreme kickboxing one? That includes the extreme kickboxing. <laughs> um, but there are some classes, sometimes we do have some premier classes or sometimes we have special events such as like Halloween Zumba that that wouldn't qualify for and there's an additional fee for. Cool. Uh, so I, I heard we're doing some great things for, for our veterans too. We, we are doing some great things for our veterans. So we have always uh, had memberships for our veterans. Uh, we just took it a step further. Uh, so if you are an active veteran or you are, um, or you're in the military or you're a veteran, you can get a free membership for one year from us. And then after that year, you would have to pay for the membership, but you will get a 20% discount off of the membership, which is way more substantial than anybody else can get. Uh, and what's the, it, it, really nice about that is we have a good pool of veterans uh, that are taking advantage of this membership. Uh, I think we currently have 62 veterans That's awesome. that are uh, have a membership, and it's just not about working out, it's about socialization. You see them walking around the building, talking amongst each other, sharing stories, and it's really a camaraderie together. And I feel like, you know, kind of going off that, when you walk into Wood Street Fitness, you see people interacting, you see people talking. It's like a friendly environment. It's not this like, Hardcore, like let's lift up heavy things, drop them on the ground type of Besides place. the kickboxing class. Besides the kickboxing <laughs> class. <laughs> you know, we do actually do have one more membership we forgot. Um, sometimes people don't want to take fitness classes. I mean, go be part of the fitness center. They just want to take the classes. So we do have a pass called the Core Pass, nice. and where you can actually pay and then just get access to all those classes also. Nice. So we, we have options for everybody. I like that. I like that. Aquatic Center is conveniently located in the Redmond Recreational Complex in Bensonville. The Water's Edge is home of Fenton High School and Wahoo swim teams, featuring an indoor eight-lane lap pool and diving well. The Aquatic Center is available for private functions and parties. Learn to swim, stay in shape, or enjoy recreational swimming year-round at the Water's Edge Aquatic Center.
Staying connected is important. And at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening around town. Whether on your phone, desktop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website is your go-to community resource. So you'll stay connected at home, in the office, or on the go. Join us on social media. Visit the Bensonville homepage and click on the Facebook icon. This will take you to the Bensonville Facebook fan page. Once there, click the like button and add us to your newsfeed. To follow us on Twitter, visit the Bensonville homepage and click on the Twitter icon. This will take you to the Bensonville Twitter page. Once there, click the follow button and add us to your Twitter feed and receive regular community updates. For email and cell phone notifications, click on the Notify Me button. This will take you to the Notify Me dashboard. Add your email address and or cell phone number at the top of the page. Then select which service you would like to receive updates from. Click on the envelope icon for email alerts and on the phone icon for phone alerts. You can choose one, the other, or both. Tune into our public access cable shows and board meetings. Choose a current program from the multimedia tab down on the home page. Bensonville Community Television is also web streamed 24 hours a day. To pay your Bensonville utility bill online, just click on the online payments button, then follow the instructions provided on our secure payment site. If you have any problems, concerns, or questions to tell the village, please visit the Report a Concern Center. Through the YourGov application, you can explain your issue and track its progress from submission to completion. Issues submitted through YourGov are forwarded directly to the responsible department. Staying connected is important, and at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening around town. On your phone, desktop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website is your go-to community resource so you'll stay connected wherever you are. Do we have any um, special events related to fitness coming up? We do. Um, in the fall, we do have um, a Halloween Zumba coming up. Nice. Uh, we actually do two big Zumba things a year. One's Halloween Zumba and one is New Year's. Eve Zumba. Uh, New Year's Eve Zumba is well received. Um, I, I don't remember the counts off the top of my head, but I do want to say there was well over 50 people last year at it. Nice. Yeah, Zumba is like an intense workout. You see them working, you know, and it's, it's crazy. Um, Halloween Zumba, uh, we're encouraging, uh, and Todd here can interrupt me if I'm wrong, but we are encouraging you to come dressed up in your costume, and there's going to be a prize for the best dressed oh, person. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It's going to be challenging, except I'm going to have to show up in, with my best costume. Yeah, so the Halloween Zumba is going to be pretty cool. Um, we have one actually for the adults and one for um, kids, 14 and younger. So we're going to have two separate events going on, same time, so making it more of a family-friendly oh, cool. uh, event. So you, adults can get their workout, kids can have fun. Do we usually offer a Zumba Kids? I feel like that's kind of unique. We do have a Zumba Kids class. Um, oh, we cool. have it once a week, um, I believe on Friday nights. Um, Kids love it. They not only use some of the typical Zumba music, um, but they throw some of the fun, um, funky kids songs that are out there right now. I think um, Raining Tacos, I heard, was one of the songs that was playing. <laughs> kids love it. Um, they have a lot of energy. And I'm sure, it's a, I'm sure it's a great way for them to release some of their energy before they go to bed. Yes. <laughs> right before the week. Or get too hyper and not go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> great. So, uh, our fall brochure is coming out uh, the week of July 22nd, and there's a lot of kind of new, exciting fall programming going on in there. So do you want to maybe start off by telling me about some of the special events that are happening? Some of the new events, and we still have a lot of our old events, so some of the new events that are exciting coming, uh, ones are Hot Wheel Classics. Cool. So Hot Wheel Classic is geared for kids three to five and six to seven year olds. Okay. Um, and it's basically gonna, you're gonna come to the program, you're gonna sign up, we're gonna give you a Hot Wheels car. You can bring your own Hot Wheels car too, and you're gonna race in a tournament against each other down a track. The, the event will also c include um, a little goodie bag at the end, general certificates. So everyone's gonna get a certificate and some treats and snacks. And you know, it, it's just some fun. And I'm pretty sure my son will be at it because he loves Hot Wheels That's too. That's awesome, I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Uh, a couple other good events coming up is so we have a fall movie night, and we have never cool. done a movie night in the fall. But this time we're doing it at Fisher Farm, and, cool. it, and it's going to be around Halloween time, and it's going to be Hocus Pocus. 
Cool. So we figured we can kind of uh, bring some of the magic and uh, Halloween feel, fall feel to Fisher Farm and yeah. have families come out. The weather's still nice then, but we're doing one other thing at Fisher Farm too. We're doing a Forest Fright and Delight event. Oh, tell me about that. Uh, Forest Fright and Delight is uh, going to focus on coming out to the farm, but you're going to have an opportunity to solve a mystery. Um, and when you're going throughout the farm solving the mystery, you're going to have to walk around and find clues and uh, different aspects to accomplish your goal. Uh, cool. We're also going to have a craft section and a pumpkin section, and we're, we're going to have a little bit of scariness to it or spookiness to it, but it's going to be age appropriate. Nice. So I don't want people to think like it's going to be you're walking through the woods and goblins are going to be jumping out at you. <laughs> nice. We are gearing this towards family oriented out there. Two other really new, unique, exciting events includes is around Christmas time. Um, one is everyone does breakfast with Santa. I don't, we don't want to keep doing breakfast with Santa. We want to be different. I have, a, I have a great idea. Why don't we do lunch with Buddy the Elf? And that's what we're going to be doing. Oh my God, <laughs> great minds think alike. <laughs> so Buddy the Elf is going to be coming out to the Deer Grove Leisure Center and Santa's going to be there too. Um, but you're gonna, kids, are gonna be able, kids and families are going to be able to come out, enjoy a lunch, um, crafts, uh, get pictures with Buddy the Elf. Uh, there's me caroling out there. And cool. most importantly, that family picture with Santa Claus. Nice. And that's what everyone's looking for rather than just going to the mall and getting a mall Santa of picture. Course. And we'll have a good photographer out there, right? Uh, absolutely. We, nice we have the best photographer on staff. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, and, and probably the most exciting event that this park district's going to do this fall is, I don't know about you, but I'm a Star Wars fan. All right. Yeah, I yeah, know you're not. I, I do, however. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I, I do, however, like playing with the lightsabers. So we're gonna have a Jedi training camp this fall at the Deer Grove Leisure nice. Center, where kids are gonna be able to make their own lightsabers, go through a Jedi obstacle course, come oh dressed up, um, and just get really amped up for this movie. At least I will be excited for Dude, it. <laughs> I'm excited to be able to bring my lightsaber out to. to work. <laughs> So th those are really some of the new core events coming. Nice. It sounds like an exciting fall of activities that we have it, going on. It, it's spread around the community very nicely. And, and you know, don't forget, we still have our uh, Santa, sla uh, sla Santa train rides coming. Uh, we still have our Monster Mash coming, which was a huge hit last Big fan year. Of that, yeah. Um, so we still have a lot of good activities coming. These are just our new excitements to the brochure. Cool. So how about new programming? New programming. Wow. Um, staff really hit the ground running with some new program ideas. And the, the biggest program change probably is coming to our preschool. Uh, we are trying to bring, we still offer preschool, but we're going to offer another preschool this year. We're going to offer a nature play preschool. Cool. Uh, the point is to get kids connected to nature, but also to get them uh, educated and ready for that pre-K and the kindergarten shift. Cool. Uh, we have a couple other good programs coming though too. Um, one is our preschool learning labs. Uh, preschool learning labs go hand in hand with our preschool and it's basically meant to offer an extended preschool. So rather than our preschool ending at 11 o'clock, maybe you're a working parent, maybe you're working until 1230. Well now you can sign your kid up for an hour and a half class that's geared specific towards either STEM science or math or numbers or shapes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, and, and, you know, we actually take the preschool one step further this year, too. Um, m m working off the working parents, we, off we offer a lunch and play time. So after preschool, if you want your child to stay with us and get lunch, we'll take care of that, too. Well, that's awesome. So we, we kind of really reempt our preschool program to offer a lot to the community um, and to help out the working families. So Nice. Uh, a couple other really unique uh, programs coming as uh, so we have Mighty Music Makers coming. Do I get to make my own musical instruments? You do. Nice. Mighty Music Makers is an early childhood program. It's going to focus on uh, a new th instrument every week. Uh, I get to make a new instrument every week? You get to make instruments. You get to play with the existing instruments. Uh, you get to go through story time, live interactions through story time. So we might be reading a book that has to deal with drums, and every time a word is said, kids might have to make a drum sound and whatnot. Are, is this during the work week? This is during the work week. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to request off during the you time might, of this program. You might have to, you might have to request <laughs> off. <laughs> um, we have Lego classes now coming. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a huge Lego guy. I'm not going to lie. I, I took yeah. out my Legos from like 1985 last <laughs> week. <laughs> it was before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> um, I put those in a museum. <laughs> So we are going to have uh, Lego classes. They're going to be one-day classes, but they, they're going to have specific themes. So one might be uh, 
themed around trains, one might be planes, one might be cars, but you can sign your kids up, come on out, and we're actually going to build Legos and uh, get the chance to play with them. Yeah, I heard actually there was going to be a, a cool moving Lego display in our lobby. Um, in, in early August. There is, and we're, we're, we're trying to figure out a good place to put that, but there's going to be an awesome display built. Uh, the kids are going to be able to come and see what it looks like, uh, interact with it, hopefully not break it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm definitely excited about that. You know, one, one thing that's going to be really exciting for this community, um, and this is for all ages, even adults, is our mystery boxes. What is that? So the is it is it like one of those lollipops that you those dum dums that you open up and no. you don't know what the flavor is? Our, so our mystery box is a program where you can sign up for it, and we're going to mail you a package. And in that package is going to be a bunch of clues that you need to go around town and solve oh. um, to get to the overall prize at the end of it. Oh, that's cool. And it's it's really it's really unique. It's really creative. Um, something that most park districts aren't doing. Um, I, I know some private companies are doing it, but we're gearing this around our town. So and the point is we want to get people out to all around the community. So they might have to go find clues all around the community, and it's going to take them a while. It's a couple week adventure to get this oh, done. Oh, wow. That's that's a big treasure hunt. It, it is a ginormous <laughs> treasure hunt. <laughs> nice. So tell me what's happening at the farm this fall. So the farm, we're continuing our program expansion at the farm. Uh, we still have all of our Girl Scouts and Boy Scout badge programs out there. Uh, but now we have bird watching coming, which is nice. a huge uh, aspect in the field right now. Uh, we have our Owl Aboard program. Owl Aboard. That sounds like something I would have come up with. Yeah. I, so, you know, <laughs> it's, it's learning about owl habitats, where they live, uh, what they eat, uh, how, uh, what their nest looks like, and just really focus around that specific animal itself. Great. Well, I want to thank you, Mike, for your time. I want to thank you, Todd, for your time. Oh, thank you. It's been a thank pleasure. Um, kind of like as I stated in the beginning, like the goal of the Park District is really to get people out, to get people moving. Um, and I think that our fitness center, uh, which Chief Fitness, um, is a great facility to really stay active. And I think this fall with all of our new programming, there's plenty of opportunities to get out and experience something new. So I want to thank you guys again for your time, and thank you everyone for watching. Um, have a good night. Thank you.